OK, so let's say I want to solve 5 tan squared minus 38 tan minus 16 equals 0 between 0 and 2 pi radians. Now, this is a quadratic and tan that we can factorise. So this factorises to 5 tan x and tan x in that bracket. OK. Now, uh, this would need to be minus 8 to make the minus 40 tan x. And so I'd have to have a plus 2. 2 times minus 8 makes the minus 16. So either tan x is equal to minus 2 fifths from that bracket, or tan x is equal to 8 from that bracket. So let's sketch tan. OK, so that's 0 to 2 pi. Now, minus 2 fifths. OK, so we're getting two solutions here. So if we inverse tan both sides, we get minus 0 point, so minus 0 0.381 to 3 sig fig. Now, clearly, that is to the left of the y-axis. This is not a solution I want. So I need to add pi to that. I have a period of tan to get to 2.76. So that is between 0 and 2 pi. So that's my first solution. That's this one here. And then if I add pi again, I get 5.90. So that's this second solution over here. So they are the two solutions to tan x equals minus 2 fifths. Now, as for tan x equals 8, if I do inverse tan of 8, I get 1.45. Now, it's going to be like way up here. So there are two solutions. There's one. There's another. So one's going to be just shy of pi over 2. So 1.45, as I found it. So 1.45 to 3 sig fig. And then you can add pi onto that to get to the next solution. So plus pi is 4.59. And then adding pi onto that would get me outside the range. So these are the four solutions. We can't include that one, OK, because it's not between 0 and 2 pi. So in order of size, we've got the 1.45, we've got 2.76, 4.59, and 5.90, all to three significant figures.